Welcome guys, and like the title says, I'm gonna show you how to improve your line work in just five minutes a day. It's a technique, and it has really helped me a lot. So without further ado, let's get to that. All right guys, when I first started tattooing, the biggest and most important thing to me was pulling a clean line. I always had a hard time floating my needles in the skin. This was a tool, a technique that I used to really help get my hand accustomed to depth, movement, speed, all those things. So if you do this just five minutes a day, you are going to see improvement with your hand control, your needle depth. It applies directly to tattooing. So. To get this done, we are using one of these. You could probably use any sort of marker you'd like, but I will explain why this particular type works best for me. And if it, we open it up, we'll find out why. The tip of this right here is a soft tip. It's flexible. It'll move a little bit. And that's what we're looking for. We want a little bit of movement and I'll show you why in a moment. So I'm gonna glove up just like I would with anything else because I'm practicing how I tattoo. Gloves. So as you can see here, we I have a piece of paper that I've just drawn some random lines on, some straight lines, and I just wanna go through it and show you what you're looking for and what we're actually trying to achieve here. But before we do that, I wanna start with the pencil and the pen. These are both great things to use as well. You can practice with a pencil, keeping your hand straight. You can practice with a pen to help keep your hand straight and smooth. So we'll take a look at that real quick. So we have a pencil. We come in, we wanna hold it as comfortably as possible. We wanna hold it just like we would hold our machine. And then we just kind of run our line. Nice, smooth and consistent, there you go. So that is a great technique as well, just using a pencil or a pen. But in my opinion, that's not enough. And we can also, here's the pen, same thing. We can see what's happening, but really I'm just pushing down on that pen. And if you have a shitty pen like this, it doesn't want to even go in at all. So there's those two. Of course the lines look great. I'm pushing right on like I would ride the tube. Now if we switch over to our marker, things are gonna change things are gonna get much harder. So again, I wanna show you what it's like if you just take it, plant it, ride it like you're riding the tube, that kind of a thick line. So let's do that. And you can move as fast as you want with this, but that's riding the tube. So it's a little bit too easy. We're looking for accuracy. We want accuracy. We want to be able to do fine detail work. We want accuracy and riding the tube is not going to give us that accuracy we're looking for. So with this technique, I wanted to show you what things look like when you just would ride the tube hypothetically. And now I want to show you what it's going to look like when you're trying to float the needle. Now there's not an exact place you're trying to get to in this practice zone, okay? What you're trying to do is just see how smooth and gentle you can run this line. In real life, it might translate. You have to put a little bit more pressure into it. Um, you might have to stretch the skin more. But when you're practicing just this, you want to see how soft you can pull that line consistent. I like to run like a little bit of a medium. So here we go. I walk myself in a little bit. And then I try to hold this line, which I'm getting all off track. Ah. So as you can see, it can be pretty hard if you haven't done it in a while, and I haven't done this in a while. But I can tell you when I was doing this a lot, it was very difficult, but I got comfortable with it and it really helped improve my tattooing. So now I do best in the skin, but it is still great to come back to this and retrain yourself. As long as you're not pushing on it, as long as you feel the floaty feeling that you're looking for, you're looking for that feeling where you have complete control. You can feel it touching the paper, but you have complete control. As I'm moving across, I feel control. I have control, I have control, I have control, and then I don't have control. You're trying to feel that floaty feeling that you get because you can't really feel the tip of that marker very much. And that is kind of how it feels when you're in skin. You can't exactly tell where you're at all the time. It can be tricky. Also, you can tell if you're moving your hand up and down too much or left and right. So if I'm shaking a bit and I come in here and I'm trying to do this, you know, it, 
it can be it can be tricky you can see where you're having troubles so if you're coming in hard and then you're softening up and then heavy again and then oh crap I'm going too deep you come up a little bit and then you're uh, up and down in the skin you can see that this one tip is going to improve the consistency of your lines if you're floating the needle in the skin and having difficulties I highly encourage you to practice this this is not the only marker that there is all you want to do is find one that has a soft tip and you could probably find one that has an even longer soft tip so you get even more play in that um, in that line so the harder it is the better it is for you in practicing I hope this tip helps you guys and if it did give the video a like subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell if you want to get notifications when I post until next time guys peace